Food connects us all to family, friends, culture, and traditions. I'm Brooke Brooke Charvet, a CEO, a television host, but most importantly, I'm a mother of four who knows that meaningful meals can last a lifetime. Now I'm a foodie, and I know that what happens in my kitchen keeps my family close. I'm Breaking Bread, some of Hollywood's best loved celebrities take us into the kitchen to share the meals that bring meaning to their lives. And we'll walk down memory lane through the palate and stir up some of life's most flavorful memories. I'm on my way to meet up with Florence Henderson, who became America's most beloved TV mom since playing Carol Brady in the iconic hit TV series, The Brady Bunch. And she's continued to work for decades after. She currently has her own show called Who's Cooking with Florence Henderson. And today we're meeting at an Italian restaurant in Santa Monica called Vito, where she goes to share dinner with her family every week. So we're gonna catch up, have a meal together, and she's just a really inspirational, special woman. to reconnect here in this swanky Italian restaurant. Welcome to <laughs> Vito, it's my home away from home. So you've been coming here for how many years? Over 25 years. What's so special about this place for you? First of all, the food is absolutely outstanding. There's no dish that I've ever ordered that I haven't loved. It's always fresh. I don't know how mm. they do it. How did you end up here? Well, I come here all the time with my family. My husband and I used to come here because the people that work here have been here for such a long time and they kind of know what you like. They make you feel like you're in their home. And they must take really good care of you. I know all of the waiters. They're all wonderful. They've, they've been so kind to me and my family and my friends. I've introduced this restaurant to so many people. So is there someone in particular that takes care of you when you're here? There is. We just love him. His name is Hank. And oh, hey, ciao. Oh, hey, ciao, you? Bella. Ciao. And handsome Bella. as well. Ciao. How ciao. are you? Ciao. Oh. Nice to meet you. Ciao. ciao. Nice to meet Sit, you, too. Please, Thank please. you for having welcome, us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hank's great. He, he, I don't know how you do it. I mean, all the waiters are just outstanding, mm. but Hank is on it. But in 25 Appreciate years, it. you have seen the whole family grow up. From her husband, John, all the way mm. down to her grandson, Connor. Right? They have a booth where we sit and just have a ball. Yeah. So what, what does family night look like for Florence Henderson? <laughs> it's a family that's, you know, you can tell it's a tight-knit group. They're always interested in each other's conversation. They mm. listen. It's just great to have them here. When yeah. you find a restaurant that becomes a family favorite, I mean, that's you, very special. Once you come here, you mm. just come back. Yeah. Having a family establishment with a restaurant like this, this feels like home for you. What is the secret? I think the secret's a combination of a number of things. Food's consistent, which is one thing I can say. If you like the yep. dish is the first time, you're gonna you're like gonna... it the second, oh, the third, the fourth. <laughs> right. yeah, chef does a great job for us here. Ownership is great. Mm -hmm. And I think people really like the fact that the owners are present. Here you're always greeted the same Cozy. way. 80% of our clientele is probably regular. So you've seen them grow through the yeah. years and it, and it makes that. you feel good because you look forward to seeing these sure. people, you know? Yeah. Is there a signature dish or a special dish that you love? I have like three or four favorite dishes. I love linguine with red clam sauce, mm -hmm. but I don't like clams in the shell. And no matter how busy it is, I go, Hank, could I get that? And I know you're so busy. And he goes, it's done. <laughs> and then they have a wonderful dish. It's spaghetti della casa, but I get it with rigatoni. Ooh, is that the and specialty of the house? Yes, signature yes. dish here by Yeah, far. signature dish. The chicken milanese is outstanding. Mm. And I get that with a wonderful patriota salad. Oh, my don't forget that veal piccata that John loved either, right? Uh, I gotta right. remember John's dish. And my grandson uh, loves the Caesar salad. Table Which, side, table Caesar. side. I heard about the yeah. Caesar. Yeah. You've seen a little bit of everything in the yeah. Florence yeah. Anderson family, yeah. right? Yeah, the bit. only thing I haven't seen in this restaurant is the kitchen. I think Why the time we make is a little, now. Tootaloo into the kitchen, oh, meet the us? chef. Why I not? would actually we'll back. love to watch, learn yes. some real authentic recipes. And I want to see owners. what the chef does for these favorite dishes of mine. Okay. okay. Don't worry, we Let's won't go. steal the recipe. Okay. She'll go. keep coming back. Okay. Adiamo. Adiamo. After you. Shall we? Okay. 
Today we're gonna learn to cook two of her favorite dishes. We're gonna do linguine with clam sauce, and we're also gonna do a rigatoni de la casa. So, Brooke, I want you to meet Giovanna. Thank you for having us in your she kitchen. She and her husband own this restaurant for how long? 35 years. 35 years. This is Ernesto, one of the greatest chefs Pleasure. Thank you. in the world. Florence has been raving about this restaurant, so I am so excited to watch you in action and learn and to taste these delicious <laughs> flavors. Are these the basics of fine Italian cooking? Mm. The parsley. Parsley, then the parsley. Garlic, of course. You can't make anything delicious without garlic. Manila clams. And? Marinara sauce. You may not get the secret to the sauce, but yeah. we'll do our best. Olive oil. I'll start with olive oil. Ah, oh, a little olive oil in the pan. And you know, this restaurant is jammed with people, and I don't know how they do it. Oh, look at the hot. I have to weigh a little bit. Just until it's a light brown. Light brown. Don't want to burn it. Oh, help me. Oh, wow. So you didn't boil the clams. You're just putting them right into the pan? Parsley. A little chili pepper. That adds that yeah. extra little zip. No salt. No, nothing. Let me put a little white wine. 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 And what kind of white wine was that? Is it a Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Char Blanc? Chardonnay. OK. Clam juice. juice. Clam juice. Clam juice. Oh. A little bit of marinara sauce. What do you think the secret to? Fine Italian food is love. Love, I, I totally agree. You have to cook with your heart. And are these special oh, recipes that minutes? came from your family? Okay. I came here when I was in. So there's some deeper history here as well, right? Giovanna told me that when she came to this country, she did not speak English, and she learned English from watching the Brady Bunch. She can sing the song. I used to watch her every day. As soon as I get home, I put the TV on and waited for the Brady Bunch to go on. So what did you think the very first time that Florence walked oh into God. your restaurant? Behind my wildest dream, I oh. cannot imagine that one oh. day she will be my guest in my restaurant. Oh. And, and fall in love and, and become a regular? <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. And now we're cooking together. And she speaks better English than I do oh, now. I which, yeah. Okay, let me finish the first, first one. Oh. Four minutes. The clam. Now I want to see the secret to getting the clam out of the shell because that is a lot of work. But he can do it and rapidly. Oh. It smells Look how incredible. light it is. Yeah. Mm. In some Italian restaurants, the sauces are so heavy, mm -hmm. uh, but not here. And is the preparation of making your house sauce, is that very complicated? It's very simple also. Awesome. Yeah. Garlic, olive oil, tomato. Wow, he does this so fast. It's the tool, right? And then you're gonna chop these up? I'm gonna chop it up. Mm. Important not to overcook them, otherwise they become tough. As soon as, so they as, soon open, as the shell opens, they're, okay. they're ready. Oh. oh, look at that. And Esther, where did you learn to cook? With Italian chefs. Yeah, he started with us when he was 17. Oh. Okay. So good. <laughs> so are you undercooking the pasta since you're also sauteing it in the Because pan? you want to finish it into juice so it tastes better. Oh, it it absorbs all the juice. Ah, OK. Wait till you taste this. No, I just smell it. Oh, it's gorgeous. You made it look so simple. Bravo. I mean, you made it look easy. We're going to pull this one off at home, right, with Lawrence? Jess? Okay. All right, moving okay, on. OK, let me go second dish. What else are we going to make? The next, that's a spaghetti de la casa. This is our signature pasta dish. It's made with uh, Let's have a look. Uh, shrimp. Shrimp. shrimp, OK. Shallots, capers. And I love shallots. I do too. Right? Butter, capers, not a okay. salt. It's just simple it really is Ready. when you break down the recipes. Shrimp. And then with cognac. Oh. With cognac. Oh. Oh, okay. that's the secret. OK. That's why I like it so much. I never cook with cognac. I cook with vodka in my pink sauce, but not cognac. So I'm going to try it. Oh, now you know. So this talk us through it. So butter. we're going to start with the butter. And you then? You want to make sure you don't burn the butter. And then what did he do? Shallots. Then you sauteed the shallots. So no garlic in this dish, just butter and shallots. Then you add then. the shrimp. Okay. And you saute the shrimp and the shallots. Put the salt, pepper. I'm going to use some black pepper, too. For sure. Okay. A small, intimate space. Now we need to touch. Oh, now for the magic. Just like 
must attach. Uh, Let me see how yeah, much cognac you're going in. Whoa. Then the cream. She likes it light sauce. Mm. Okay, we'll be ready. This is the foreign tender version, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. My grandson nice loves this dish. Oh, I bet. Mm. Then? Is that beautiful? Beautiful. Oh. It smells incredible. I can't wait to taste <laughs> it. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you, Joe. We had to just watch and learn and stay out of the way this time. She speaks so highly about all of you. I mean, you really have made this a special place. So. That has to feel oh, really good. It feels wonderful. Yeah. Shall we eat? Yeah. I have to. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Well, that was fun. It's good to learn some good old-fashioned down-home Italian recipes. And as much as I love to cook and learn about the recipes and the process... Do you love to cook? I love to cook, but I love to eat more than I love to cook. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to this meal. Well, my husband, John, used to love to come here. He had one dish that he absolutely loved. And my husband passed away oh, 12 years ago. But it was interesting, after one of his treatments at City of Hope, he wanted to come here for a meal. I thought, oh my goodness, it's too early. Mm. John wasn't well. What a and scary thought, time. What we do? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I came, we got here way before dinner time, and I said, you stay in the car and I'll go in. So I come in and Hank and all the waiters are sitting around a table. They're not dressed for dinner yet. Not even open for business yet. Right, and they're playing cards or something. And I said, I have John in the car, and he wanted to get his, his oh. veal and his pasta. And they all jumped up, put on their jackets, and we came in Isn't and that nice? sat over there. And uh, you don't forget things like that. No, never. This is my home away from home because I work so much, I travel so much, but I love to have that time with my family. When you're eating, the defenses come down. It's disarming. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Did you grow up with time shared like that as a family? I mean, what was food and dinner and growing up was the youngest of 10? Yes, I am the youngest of 10, a very poor family. We had a couple of chickens. We lived on a farm right on the Ohio River. And we'd hear the, the hen, you know, cackle. But I never made it there in time to get the egg. Oh. I was always the little. <laughs> the egg. Yeah. It's like one egg for two. No, I mean, we were starving. So I appreciate food and good food. Mm -hmm. And I know what good food tastes sure. like. And at the time growing up, did you know that you didn't have the things that other families had? Were you feeling that? Certainly there were other poor people in the town. But yes, you feel that. You feel that you don't have a new dress. It's always mm -hmm. a hand-me-down. Or you might have a, a hole in your shoes. Sure. You definitely had holes in your shoes. I think when you grow up that way, as you become successful, let's say if you're fortunate, you either become very materialistic and mm -hmm. you want to own everything, or you're the opposite way and you're so grateful and you go sure. through life giving and receiving. Well, yeah. It's a fascinating contrast considering how you grew up to where you are now, but even the journey in between, I mean, going from Kentucky to New York City, I'm fascinated by how you were able to grow up and be such a well-rounded, powerful woman. I was sponsored to New York to study mm -hmm. at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. I landed there when I was 17. Did you know you wanted to be in the business always. when you were a young girl? Always. And how? What, what exposed you to that? Taste? I could always sing. I came in singing. Did you have other singers in the family? All musical. Uh, I'm the only one that ever did anything with it. I guess that was good entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. entertainment growing up, right? Exactly, but uh, my best friend in high school was as wealthy as I was poor. She's still mm. my best friend. And her family sponsored me to New York. I remember I, I had enough money to stay two nights at the Barbizon Hotel for Women. And I, I didn't even know the menu. I couldn't figure what mm. au jus and ro roast beef. Sure. So I had a vegetable plate that was 
what I ordered. I'm just so grateful for my life and my friends and family. It's the most important thing. And, you know, one of the things that I love most about the possibility of the show is really understanding how we connect through food, what we share with our family. Well, speaking of food, I see Hank there. Oh, good, because I'm ready. I'm I ready. think Hank is going to make us a Caesar salad. Yeah, Excellent. we're going to do a little Caesar for you today. And I'm going to watch and learn. By the way, he has an incredible voice. Oh, really? Yeah, he's been in musicals in New York. And Does he sing to you sometimes when you're here? Do you uh, sing while you work? We have a private moment. I do I love sing. it. <laughs> I want to be in on that private moment. <laughs> oh, wow. I need another 30 years here, right? Yeah. Hank, how long have you been here? I've been here about 25 years. I thought it was just about as long as I've been yeah. coming. Yeah, right. You've known Hank that long. Been that long. A lot of family gatherings here with you. Hank always taking care of you when you come in. Yeah. It's like a big family here, right? Absolutely. Good Caesar. A Giano cheese imported from Italy. And then we're going to slide this out of the way. We'll be right back. Do you remember the first time you had real Italian food? The first time that I recall having anything Italian was in New York City, and I had pizza. Wow. Well, I thought I died. How old were you? I was 17 or 18. Wow. Okay, I'm going to slide this in for you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. That looks good. It looks great. And I've never had a bad meal here. That's yeah. delicious. You have our signature dish, foreign style, but she likes the rigatoni. Then you have her famous linguine clams, the way she likes it, chopped a little bit on the spicy side, slight little tomato sauce. And then finally, you have her grandson's favorite chicken milanese with a little patriotto salad on the side. Thank you. Yeah. Grazie. It's nice to be with you again. To health and friendship. I want to know what you think. OK. This is kind of special. Mm. Is that fantastic? That's amazing. Oh, hi. A little bit spicy. Oh, it's so good. And you have to have one of the little shrimp. Isn't it great? It's delicious. Yeah. Cooked perfectly. So what are family dinners like when you're here? We just have a, a lot of laughs, a lot of fun. I just love those moments mm -hmm. of being with my kids and my family. <laughs> what does family mean to you? Everything. I was lucky that I was always extremely close to my siblings. I'm extremely close to my children and my grandchildren. But I have friends that I consider family. Do you find that it's very challenging to be able to con continue to stay fresh, to continue to stay relevant, and find projects that are still stimulating to you? Because, I mean, what haven't you done? Well, I decided very young that I would diversify. Mm -hmm. I loved television. I loved the stage. I loved doing commercials. I, mm -hmm. You know, I say yes a lot. I still take a voice lesson once a week. With so you just keep working on yourself? Always. I work out three times a week with a trainer. This is amazing. Yeah. I mean, you were so sexy. You were so fit. You're still doing it. It's really a matter of, of how you think and realizing that it takes courage to be happy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of courage to make changes in your life and to grow. And that's, that's what I've tried to do mm. in my life, just going for things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't realize how much strength we have. I don't know if you know how much you inspire women. And when you look through your history and what you've accomplished and what you've done and the attitude that you have. I think it's loving, loving life. I mean, I just, what a gift. But is there anything that comes to mind that you haven't done yet that you want to do? I've been blessed to do so many different things in my career, in my life. I was a guest several years ago on Saturday Night Live. Mm. I played a skanky hoe. Oh. <laughs> Along really? with uh, Sarah Michelle Geller and oh, Gina no. Gershon. I would like to host Saturday Night Live. <gasps> oh, and you should. That's one thing. Lauren Michaels, Put it if out you're there. listening. <laughs> Put it out there. Put it I out there. I love that. Yeah. You should. Yeah, that's what I want to do. One of the things people say, what, what do you think your best achievement is? I said, to be in a tough business for over 60 years and retain a sense of humanity and a sense of what's important. When kids ask me for advice, I say, study, 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 learn your craft, but keep a cool head and a warm heart. Mm, that's beautiful. Cheers to I'll that. I'll drink to that. Thank you for sharing everything in this fantastic hideaway, which I will definitely be back to. I'm taking these recipes home. Thank you, Vitos. I Thank mean, you, Vito. This is I'm my in. home away from home. Yeah, and it was so nice to reconnect again. Thank you. Brooke. And just keep doing what you're doing. And I'm gonna keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Let's eat some more pasta and then we'll then we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll run to the trainer. <laughs> I adore you. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm -hmm.
It was so fun to catch up with Florence. I mean, she's living the life that we should all learn how to live. I learned a lot back there. I think I'm working way too hard at my Italian dishes, but it was absolutely delicious. And I can completely understand why she feels just at home here. Everybody is warm and friendly. Really nice to be able to come to a restaurant and feel like you're just at home.